Hey, it's Emus, short for emasculation. That's my gamer name because I only play games that are time sinks and money pits and preferably both. The game of the day, of course, is very much all of that. It's Golden Tea, and I am the worst player that has ever played Golden Tea. I hope you enjoy the video. Let's get to it. So here we go on the daily contest. I like playing for prizes, but as you're going to see, uh, I don't win many prizes except maybe teas. Again, revisit the original point. I'm the worst Golden Tea player ever. My average score is a plus 4.33. I take a lot of gas for people because I play with a female avatar. Um, for my money, if you're gonna spend a lot of money and a lot of time playing something, staring at a screen, you gotta stare at what you like. So this is my wife, my lovely, beautiful wife. And let's get to it. Oops. You'll also notice, I don't know what all the buttons do, so a little crazy stuff tends to happen. And apologies, I also don't have a tripod, so this is going to be a little jerky. Fortunately, the whole game's a little jerky. Played by jerks. No, not really. Let's see what I can do here. I have a tendency to do all right on the first, the front nine, and then royally screw up the back nine. So as you see, it actually looks like I know what I'm doing right now, but don't worry, the hilarity will ensue. He shoots these scores! Now there's some guys who play this game. They'd be at minus 30 right now after one hole. I don't know how they do that. Uh, I would say they're hackers, but uh, why would you hack a golf game? There are my last, oh, I don't know, 10 tournaments. And as you can see, I win a lot of tees. I guess I am sort of a tease generally, but oh well. Let's see what we can do here. Oh, hits a tree. Killed a bird. Further away from the hole than when I started. This is pretty typical. And yes. Terrible, just terrible. So let's see, I learned that there are these hooks and things you can do, but as you see, I hit another tree. Maybe I'll get a twofer here. Oh, one tree. And now I'm inside the tree. So let's see what I can do here. Since I'm already behind on the hole, let me see if I can hook one onto the green. And no. Buddy, oh, I almost got on the beach. Something else you notice about the way I play, I tend to end up in the sand traps and in the water on a fairly regular basis, at least more times than is healthy. And then occasionally I'll have a wonderful shot like that. But as you can see, I'm shooting for bogey, so, <clears throat> oh well. Three points for the hole, woo! Most people get three points just on their tee shot, or more. I get three for the whole hole. Now this will be fun because we got wind going and I don't know how to choke my swing back so let's see what we can do. He's on the beach! He's on the beach! Uh oh. Well, that wasn't so bad, at least for me. He shoots his scores! Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna edit some of this stuff so you don't have to sit here and listen to me talk the whole time. Especially because a round of golden tea for me takes about 30 minutes. For most people it takes about 10 or 15, but that's testament to how bad I am and how many strokes I have. If I stroke out, and not actually have a stroke, I mean if I hit stroke max on half the holes, do not be surprised. That is a typical outcome of my games. I also learned the hard way that a lot of this game doesn't help you. It gives you what it thinks you should do for a variety of reasons, but there's no way you get a minus 33 by doing what the game tells you to do. In fact, it's probably like real golf where you actually have to know what you're doing to some degree. Let's see what this does. I'm going to put odds and I'm going to hit that rock right there. Oh boy, cleared the rock. So now that actually looked like a good shot, right? Yeah, sure. Watch me in the water now. Oh, and like in my real golf game, my short game is terrifically bad. Even though in a real game, I probably would have four-putted that. But we're still at even at hole four, which is good, except if you remember, the back nine always treats me very badly. So let's see what we can do here. I also blame the machine. Ooh, almost in the water. This will be interesting. Oh boy, 
It's on a hill. Going down the hill. Rolling, rolling, rolling. My ball is rolling downhill. I don't know what an L wedge is, but it's in the vulture set, whatever the vulture set is. Yep, a little hard. Just a little hard. All the way across the green. At least I got it on the green. Usually I would hit so lightly it would hit the top of the hill and roll back down to where I was. And here we are. Oh, geez. Down the hill again. Oh, there we go. Ending up further away than I started. Worst player ever. Oh, I hit it in somehow. <laughs> he shoots, he scores. Now we're plus three. This is starting to look like a normal game for me now. Back to what I was saying earlier about it not really helping you with this game. Uh, I'm gonna try to hook it around and see what happens. Normally I would hit it so hard it would go into the water, which I didn't do here. And in fact, if there was like a little, I don't know, funnel that would send it down to the hole, I would prefer that on this hole. We got some Easter Island head things looking over here. I'm surprised I didn't hit one of those too. And here we go. Stay out of the water. Too short. Yep. And somehow saves par. Hey, 72 points. That's like good for me. And Black Hills is not my favorite course. In fact, I don't know what any of the courses are, so I probably shouldn't even say that, but whatever. I'm also starting to wonder if the game isn't inherently sexist because when I used to play as, oh, look at that. <laughs> And why does it tell you to hit into the rock? I don't understand this. Let's see, I learned one lesson. That whole swath to the right there is really out of bounds. Oh, here we go, on my tippy toes. Dancing, 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 dancing. Let's see if I can't do something here. Uh, <coughs> Ooh, tree, tree, tree. But I missed the rocks. Let's see. So that's shot three, so maybe we... Oh boy. Oh boy. That's not going to be good. Behind a tree. Not saying, hey, you must lay up. And instead, hey, I'm on the fairway. See, that wind ought to push it a little to the right. So let's make it bite. Oh boy. Oh, look at that. That's pretty. Uh, but I'm still shooting for bogey because I jerked around so much in the beginning. Oh well. Longest putt. 35 feet. No one must play this course. Maybe I should have filmed the uh, records just so you guys could see it now. Plus four after seven holes. Giuseppe would be at, I don't know, minus 20 at this point and screwing around for the rest of the game. Alright, here we go. We're going to hook this one, or no, slice this one past that rock. Maybe. Oh boy, through the hole. Look at that. That looked like I knew what I was doing. That was pure dumb luck. As you can tell, the uh, my favorite barmaid is filling the coolers with ice. That means one thing, beer will be flowing soon. Oh boy, there's my short game, screwing up my eagle. Whenever I miss an eagle and get a birdie, I call it a beagle, because I love beagles. I got down to plus three now. Doing great. Oh boy. I hate these holes that have like a dock. I mean, come on. Who does this to people? It's like cruel and unusual. Yeah, let's change it. I finally could change the camera angle. My life changed that day. Now here's the problem. It slopes to the right and there's water. Therefore, shoot a little to the left. He shoots, he scores! Oh, I got broke my own record on longest putt, 47 feet. That'll stand about until, oh, the first time someone else plays this game. Golden Tee's been around. Oh, see, look at that. Three red, three green, and white. Okay. Still plus two, though, because the bogeys were so bad. Golden Tee's been around uh, 30 years now. I never really played at all until a couple of months ago. And then I was... <laughs> commentating with one of my kids in tow and they thought it was hysterical because I was making fun of myself and said, hey, dad, you should make a uh, YouTube video. So I'm making a YouTube video. In leading up to this, 
I have to tell you, people who actually do this a lot, it is way more difficult than it would seem to be. In fact, I had a lot of start and stops. Oh boy, rock! Bounce up! Nope, going back down. A lot of starts and stops trying to figure out a proof of concept that kind of made sense because honestly, I don't like talking as much as a lot of YouTubers do and my kids watch videos that are 30, 60, 90 minutes long and it's non-stop and I, I can't do it. So, I don't know. I'm just gonna cut out the stuff I don't really like. Oh, another shot into the cliff face. Or as I should say, in the face. Let's try this again. Definitely want to stop if I can get it over the hill. Nope. What's the definition of insanity? Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. So we're gonna do it again. And, ooh, it went to the left and the right that time. Oh, cause I did that that time. Eventually it'll kick me out far enough where I can actually do something with it. Or I'll stroke max. That's always fun. Oh, what a view. So pretty. My golfer, I mean, not my shots. Oh, we made it up on top of the hill. This is classic. Classic Emus golfing. And then watch hole in. Oh, he shoots, he scores. Somehow I got a 382 yard drive. I still don't know how that works either. Someone will have to explain the physics of this game to me because they do not appear to be those of the real world. Oh boy, lots of rocks. Let's roll it. Roll it, slice it, dice it. And if you can hear the trackball rolling, I swear it's the machine, it's not me. I'm not hitting it very hard. One of the tricks I did learn was if you get a little uh, pine tar, it makes the wheel spin faster. Now don't do that, it'll ruin the wheel. Actually, the only thing you can really do is make sure you develop the calluses on your hand that move the trackball. And when you do that, you'll get better results. Although if you notice, I'm right around 100 miles per hour. And most of the guys that play here, and not necessarily with me because nobody really wants to play with me, uh, get up around 130. And so maybe that means I'm not hitting the track ball hard enough, but it warns you very clearly when you first start out, don't hit it too hard, you could injure yourself. Oh, that's beautiful. Still didn't make it. What do we got now, bogey plus two? Plus one. He shoots these guys. Oh yay, whole 49 points on that one. 944, I think the guys who play this game for real would probably be at two, 3,000 now. If you notice, I also haven't had any great shot points. I think my average for great shot points is something like, I don't know, one for every hole. I've played about, I don't know, 60 rounds of this game so far. So let's see. Oh shoot, I should have looked at the green. But no, he's on the beach. He's on the beach. For whatever reason, and maybe I need to get some new balls, but my balls are drawn to the beach. I haven't been in the water yet this round, which is a miracle. Oh, that was great. But I'm still on the beach. Oh boy. Oh boy. That looks embarrassingly like my real golf game though, so I can't really feel that bad because at least I'm not sweating out in the sun right now. And it's about a low 93 degrees day outside and 80% humidity. Plus 10. Somehow I got a minus five once and that dropped my handicap significantly. Um, that was a mistake. I should just screw up on the last hole to make sure that my handicap stays in the negative territory. So that looks okay. Kind of innocuous out there in the fairway. This hole's like, well, it's a par five, so it's probably a thousand yards. Not really. Oh boy. Why am I hitting with a six wood? Like I said, the game, it, it screws with you. It says, yeah, just hit it over here in this nice little field. And then it puts you like behind something that you can't hit around. This one's not so bad. All right, if you're a betting person, beach or water. Because if you want a long odds, you would have taken the green. And he's on the beach. He's on the beach. I do have a, a high number of sand saves. But I also have the highest number of penalty shots that anyone I've ever seen play the game or asked about 
has ever heard of. I have like 350 rounds, something like that. Something absurd. So when you get behind, the only thing you can really do is go crazy and see what kind of messes you can get into. It's because it looks like you could hit through that little sliver there, right? I mean, maybe. I mean, if you cut off that part of the hole, Let's try it. No, nope, not right. We want to roll, baby, roll. Good boy. He's off the game. Ball is off the entire course. But now at least I have a straighter shot, right? No, that's not how that works. <laughs> Are you sure? I think that's how it works. The question is, did I get another penalty shot for that? Because that wouldn't be in the water and that's not as much fun. Oh, and something I learned, if you hold the blue help button, it gives you the sky view. Now, I don't know how it expects me to hit between these uh, Easter Island head things that aren't finished, but let's try it anyway. That'll be fun. A little bit of hook. Ooh, we cleared him. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hit one. Fortunately, it was on the right side of it. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Big bounce over the hole. I have a tendency to do luck out in some of these. That was not a luck out. That was another terrible putt, followed by finally in the hole, plus 12. For keeping a score, I'm 45 strokes behind the guy who would be winning this at this point. 45 strokes, that's like a reasonable golfer's front nine. And this is my whole game. Let's see what we can do here now. We're gonna try to slice it around the corner. Oh boy, barely missed the rocks. Rolling up by the stone, stone face. Let's see, let's backspin this baby. That's a giant green there. Oh no, I should have looked at the, oh boy, the slope's not good. Oh boy. <laughs> if I'd done a bite or maybe a release. Oh geez, another crappy punt. Punt, it's not football. Got a lot of points for that one for me though. That's weird, 15 holes. Oh no, I know this hole. This was on one of the contests a while back, and I think I fell off the mountain like half the time I played it. So I suck. Good boy. It's on the rock. Hopefully it doesn't roll off the mountain because that's typically what happens when you play on a mountain. Well, for me and you playing on a mountain. And that says six wood. Why? Get it all the way up there, buddy. Maybe it would have been better. I don't know. Like I said, the game doesn't help you. It gives you stuff like don't hit the trackball too hard, swing softer to not make the ball go as far. Oh, look, there's some mountain lions or something, or what are those, goats, rams? I don't know, something up there on the top. Oh no, not backspin. Bite, baby, bite. Hey boy, if, there's a, if that's sand, I'm in it. You can't tell if that's sand or, yeah, that's sand. He's on the beach. And I know better, if you try to hit at a slope like that, it's just gonna roll to the right, so why not play to the slope? Oh! I had a special call out for that one if it had gone in. Hey, one putt. I think it's the first time I've one putted. Maybe the second in this round. 16, um, plus 13. Oh, this is the one. It's like, uh, oh, Jesus, this is going to be bad. Maybe if I can hit it off George Washington's head. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. And he's off the mountain. She'll be coming around the mountain when she comes to you, dude. Hey, look. Teddy. And then this is an embarrassingly long wait as the ball slowly bounces down the front. Hey, yay, yay. Sometimes the game takes pity on me and puts me right near the hole for the next shot, but usually it makes me hit another embarrassingly long shot that also goes out of bounds. Oh, yep, yeah, there we go. Just like I thought. Fantastic. Let's try that again. Oh, definition of insanity. Same bounce. Same result. Nope, oh, nope. Oh. It hit Teddy's glasses. And it's back up. 
Stay! Stay! No, it's gonna give me the unplayable lie error. Ah, uh, yes. Attempt number three. Let's do this. Let's bank it off of Teddy's skull. Uh... Dude, that might play. Go! Nope. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Toot, toot! Off Teddy's spectacles. And another embarrassing way as it travels down the front of the mountain. This is Mount Rushmore, by the way. I don't think I mentioned mention that. That's why Teddy's on the front. Maybe he doesn't appreciate it that I keep hitting it into his head, but I'm not sure what else to do. Maybe I'll just let it, just let, just gonna let the wind push it a little to the right. Ooh, there we go. Maybe I should help it a little bit. We got 119 there, that might play. Stop, bite, baby, bite! So it only took me, what, six shots? Stroke limit, I stroked out. 17 holes, don't worry, we're 20 minutes in. Every other player is done with this entire round. And, oh no, I got another one of these with oh, Mount Rushmore. Great. Great. I'll try to hook it over to the left a little bit. If it bites, I'm okay. Ooh. Ooh. This is rough. Why would they do this to you? Sad. I'm sad. Oh boy, too far to the left. Great. And stay up. Get caught in a bush. Snake eat it. Anything. And another embarrassing way does it journeys to the bottom of Mount Rushmore. Yay. Goodbye, ball. Unplayable lie. Out of bounds. Let's try this again. <laughs> Slightly different. Now maybe I bounce it forward. And I should be so lucky. In the drink! Kerplunk! The drink is my friend. Oh boy. Second time in the drink. See, I spared you guys from me going in the water over and over again on the other holes, so now I'm paying for it. Oh, too hard. Ooh, not too bad. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> Stroke limit, stroked out again. And here we are, plus 21. A great score, look at all that red in the back nine. Can you imagine what it would have been had I done even worse on the front? And look at all those new records. That's a novel thing for me. I've only had one record ever in my life, so now I have four on one course, but I guess nobody plays the Black Hills golf course. Anyway, thanks for watching. There's my lifetime stats, not good. I have a rating though now, that's interesting. And I've never defeated anybody. Well, that may change in the next episode. Give a like if you liked it. Let me know if you wanna see more. Subscribe if you really like it, but you're emasculating yourself. <laughs> Adios.